in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Puppet Warp inside of Photoshop. Let's get started. To start using Puppet Warp, the first thing you're going to need to do is to isolate your image. Now you can do this manually or by any technique that you want. I'm going to show you a quick little hack over here in the properties panel. Just before that, double click on your background to turn it into a layer. And now over here in the properties, you will see quick actions. In the quick actions, just select remove background. This will automatically isolate your subject from the background. We can now move it to the center over here. It's also masked it so you can make any fixes that you want. So for example, you see over here, it's a little bit um, too transparent. So what we're going to do is use the brush tool with a white fill and you can just fill that in and it will get filled back in. So we have our subject, it's isolated and now we're going to use the puppet warp. To use the puppet warp, we're going into edit, puppet warp and over here you might have show mesh selected. You can just turn that off, we don't need that at all. So I'm going to turn it off and now you can see your mouse cursor is a pin. So we can start pinning all the parts and joints that we want to be able to move. And that's, I think that's about it. What it does, it just pins them to the point. And now we can hover over any point that we've already added and start playing around with that. So as you can see, look how cool that is. I'm starting to make my shape a little bit more dynamic. Maybe let's curve it up over here and move this up as well. And we're done. So now it looks a little bit more dynamic. F for releasing the selection of the puppet warp, you have this check mark over here, or you can just press enter on the keyboard. That will release the puppet warp and whatever you changes you made are saved now. To finish this up, I'm just going to add an awesome background. So file, place and embed. I'm going to select my background and let's just make it a little bit bigger. So it covers the whole artboard. Press enter and I'm going to move it under my subject. Look how awesome that was. It just took us a couple of minutes. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Design Hackers, where I teach designers how to work less and earn more money. Thank you for joining and I'll see you in the next video.